I'm looking for my other bag and it was nowhere to be found. Not what Jacqueline Hodge was expecting to start her week-long vacation in the Dominican Republic. First time out the country going to, you know, nice place. I'm like, I ain't even got all my stuff. <laughs> and I was staying at a resort. I brought a can of deodorant. It was $10. Spending a lot of money out of pocket, plus borrowing from her friend she was on vacation with. As you can see from these pictures, despite missing one bag, Jacqueline's still able to enjoy herself. When I got back to RDU, I went in American baggage claim, asked about my bag. My bag made it to DR the next day. She filed a lost luggage claim with American. They sent an automated email back, we received your email, someone will contact you. No one ever did. She got in touch with me and I reached out to American Airlines. American Airlines contacted me the next day saying that my bag was in a warehouse in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, and they sent it to me. But it's been a whole month later. It's key to know your rights. If it's lost or delayed, report it with the airlines right away. If you buy anything while you're without your luggage, keep receipts. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, airlines are required to compensate you. The maximum liability allowed by regulation is 3800 for domestic. International, the cap is $1,780. Airlines can pay more but aren't required to do so. $950. When it comes to Jacqueline's case, a representative states, American strives to return delayed luggage to customers as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, weather and operational issues may slow down the process in some instances. Just days after we got involved, check it out. A bag that's been missing for more than a month. Different sandals. Now back in Jacqueline's possession. Limp shoes. Besides finding her bag, she also received compensation for the items she had to buy since she didn't have it for the trip. I just want to thank you for helping me get my luggage back. I really appreciate you. Just thank you so much because I don't think I would have got it without your help. So another problem solved. Now with all that is going on with the airline struggles right now, it is a very good idea to try and pack everything in a carry on. If you can't pack everything in, at least try and get a few days worth of clothes and toiletries so you will be covered in case something happens. I'm Troubleshooter Diane Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.